Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching European Speech Assembly Yellow Stream 2014. Up next, it's Goldeneye. So far, throwing the modem on the side so you save a little bit of time there. So now comes the hardest part of the level the basement. There's a lot of guards here. So far, it's probably gonna get like a two, two ten, two eight, two eight something. Yeah, Mauser, he's using a very, very bad controller, so his turns are gonna be a bit, a little bit wider than you probably used to. Let's stand the blow down. Now comes a hard level. <coughs> Probably the level everyone remembers from the invincibility cheat. Facility double O. So you have to get a uh, decoder from Dr. Doak. He can be in seven different spots. And he's going to check all the spots to, uh, just to make sure he actually gets him. Good. That's really good. Now he doesn't have to check the really bad spots. Yeah, exactly. So now I can just go to the end of the level. <coughs> it's actually looking like a really good run so far. Do you have time to read the missions? Uh, yeah, sure. Go for it. We got a one hundred dollar dollar donation from Base Boost. Oh, go big you. or go home, Ilu. <laughs> Aztec glass hype. Good luck on the run. Shoutouts to the elite.net, MN crew, and Nesquik. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. 
All right, that was really good. So on this level, he gets to drive the tank to uh, shoot three drone guns and a missile battery. So this level is pretty straightforward. Holy shit. Oh, that was almost close. Because the guards, they can shoot the plane and then you can't finish the level, so. But he made it, so that's good. So this level is also pretty straightforward. It's just a lot of running and a lot of looking at the floor. Which he does because it uh, makes so the N64 renders a little bit less frames. And which makes the whole gameplay a lot smoother. There is a small chance that he might die on this level, so that's why he kills those guards by the barrels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why uh, those two guards can be really annoying. They can boost you all over the place on the way back from this hut. Also, there are random guards on this level, and they can have sniper rifles, so they can shoot you across the entire level if you're really unlucky. Yeah. Pick up the safe key here. Now he just has to go into this tower to deactivate uh, the console. Then it can go to the end. And he's gonna use the grenade launcher to shoot some locks. Uh, he didn't get all of them, I think. Maybe he did. Good, That's yeah, he's good. good. Still sub two minutes probably. Or oh, fifty seven is good. Next up bunker one. Oh, oh double uh, double nade. <laughs> that's uh, that's new. They actually had the exact same animation. Yeah, at the exact same time. Yeah. Actually getting controlled a lot now by those guards. <laughs> Synchronized nade throw, I've never seen that before, ever. Always hoping for a nade during a single, like a individual level time trial, and you almost never get one. And now you get two in from the two different guards. Uh, guys, I need a chance to pause the stream to restart it to try and get transcodes back. Uh, can you just point out whenever the next time is good to do a more statue problem? Yeah, statue, but it's a bit, it's a bit away. Uh, well, I can pause the timer just. Uh, uh, surface two, surface two might be good as well. Yeah, so I'll just stop. After just stop after level, and I'll restart. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, pause now. Okay. Final 
Let's pause. Okay, ready? Uh, three, two, one, go. Yeah. All right, back from the restart, guys. So silo is going to be one of the more intense levels of this run. There are so many guards and they yeah. like to duplicate themselves when they hear a lot of noise. So that's why he's using the silencer so much in the beginning of the level. So this level is very tricky because if more than two scientists die during this run he fails the mission so he needs to redo it. And the guards they have a tendency to like like to blow up consoles. Also those plastics that he's throwing in the rooms, uh, they can land upside down and then you can't complete the objective unless you throw another one. Yeah, exactly. But it's looking pretty good so far. So that body armor is not there on the American version. That's why he plays Japanese. One of the many reasons why he plays Japanese. Just one more bridge. What? You got the key card. I didn't. I couldn't open the door at first. What the fuck? Must have been a bad angle or something. Yeah, really bad. Wow, my health is health is like all power now. It's not a body armor here. You can pick up. Oh, that's an explosion. That's not good. Let's hope the scientists made it out. It's probably worth it playing safe because of that explosion. They can still die though. That's good. So Frigate is going to be one of the more RNG-based levels. You, have, uh, you need to rescue five hostages on the WA difficulty and they can choose uh, certain escape points that they have to run to and uh, it's completely random where they will go. Yeah. So you want them to choose the closest one to their position. So he's gonna be, he will be saving all six hostages. He only needs to release five. This gives them some better odds. Kill that one. Get out the diffuser and disarm the bomb. I was gonna do a funny glitch. Warp through those pipes here. There you go. Now there's two more hostage takers up here. Good. Then he's gonna plant the bug on the helicopter. Usually you, you throw it. Ooh, that was close. That was really close. <laughs> <laughs> that could have failed. <laughs> well, nice boost there. That would, would have meant to restart the mission? Yes, yes, yes it would have. Yeah. Yeah. Now he just needs to wait for objective A to complete. There it is. Oh. Nice. This is really good. This, this With really this rat, this uh, A is kind of consistent. 124, that, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was a bit of a swag strat right there with the YOLO, with the bug. <laughs> uh, this level is pretty straightforward. Just have to disable some cameras, disable uh, communications, um, radio, 
and plant another bug. I mean a mine on a helicopter. So this camera shoots from behind because the camera they have like a certain like weak spot on the back. You can shoot it oh, through yeah. the wall there as well. You got it, nice. You shot the camera through the wall. A pretty good run so far, but uh, the hearts are still to come. Is there gonna be a guard here? Yeah, there's no problems. Now, uh, this he's not gonna yodel this mine, I hope. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ilya's overconfident. Yeah, I should calm down. All right, that's good, that's good. 156, something is pretty good. So this level is it's pretty risky if you're slow. Just like Silo, the guards can duplicate themselves when they hear noise on this level. Yeah, and the guards, they can pile up really fast on this level. Shit. Ah, uh, this is not looking good so far. Let's hope we didn't clone the safety uh, guy. Oh yeah, get out there, o almost unscathed. Oh that's, oh, that's so lucky. Nice. Pick up those documents, through the safe. Alright, this guy's a bit slow. What the hell? Bam! The B button for it. Oh, you don't have the key card, right? Lucky there was a guard left in the build in the room there. Mm. Yeah, these guards can be really trolly. Alright, good. Now I just make make it to the end. Got plenty of health for this. Yeah, three, three bars. Yeah, good run. 140. So this level is just almost only strafing. Have to talk to Valentine. He's gonna use a trick here where he strafes uh, back and forth to move Valentin backwards. So glad that guard didn't pull a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here he strafes Valentin a bit closer to his next objective, so he gains a few seconds. Normally in an IL run you would uh, shoot Treble Lion here mm -hmm. and that would save a couple of seconds but it's very risky and even if you do it perfectly you can still fail it so it's not worth it doing the marathon. Yeah. So you pretty much shoot him and you interrupt his walking animation so he starts his dialogue faster. 
and use the slaps there to time when he's was gonna leave. Yeah, five slaps. Five slaps. Yeah, five, five slaps. Now it's another RNG moment coming up. The flight recorder can spawn in nine, nine different spots. Nine different locations. Some of those are re really far away. Two of them are going to be really good, and one of them is going to be somewhat good. Yeah. The other ones are not so good. Exactly. On flight recorder, affect the FR. Yes, you did. perfect spot. <laughs> nice, that's good. That's really good. It's a good statue run. 229? Was that? I didn't see. That was a really good time. That was like the world record 10, <laughs> 10 years ago. Archives is essentially just strafing and opening doors. Yeah. It's a lot of control in this level. Which is pretty hard with the bad stick that you lose using. Holy shit grenade. Hopefully Natalia doesn't die here. Yeah. That's mission over if that happens. That grenade could have killed Natalia. Also, the guards can come in here and shoot the boxes. Where they can throw more grenades. Yeah, even worse. But no more guards are coming, and he got an AK, so that's good. So here he strafes against the safe to build us some speed, which won't do anything because Natalia is <laughs> blocking him. <laughs> she always does that. Alright, that was good. Next up is Street. There's a lot of uh, troll things that can happen on this level. I think uh, another one got, got boosted into a rocket. And we haven't really talked about boosts just, but if you get shot in the back, you gain 0.3 seconds. Yeah. And if you get shot in the front, you lose 0.3 seconds. So you want to get shot in the back as much as possible without dying at all. So he's just standing in a, a little bit of a safe spot here to kill those guards that are coming. So there's a body armor here, he's just gonna pick up. It's worth doing during RTA marathon runs. Now it's just strafing. Holy shit. There's a grenade launcher a guard that can spawn. Uh, it's very random, but sometimes he spawns, and uh, if you get hit by that, you're not going to be very healthy. Yeah, that guy can easily kill uh, kill around. If he if he hits you with one grenade, you pretty much lose all your health. Also, there are rocket launchers that can spawn in uh, one of these roadblocks. Yeah, now I got the rocket launcher, sir. Ooh, that was almost. So they can have either rocket launchers or KF7s, and it's completely random what they will have. So now he's probably going to have uh, KF7s on so the next roadblock. Doesn't have to be though, it can still be rockets. But uh, we'll see. Oh, you got KF7 guards. They have increased accuracy compared to normal guards. Oh my <laughs> roadblock, you see how much they're hitting him. It's a good thing he picked up the body arm when he did. 0 20 boost ratio. Goose ending, <laughs> going in the middle. <laughs> Next up is a depot. I guess you're going to troll a little bit here on this level, not that much. Elo knows what to do on this level.
Yeah, this is good. This is this is really good. So I made it out with full health. So now it's just gonna destroy the ammo dump and head to the end of the level. It should be a pretty good time. He needs to destroy all of these boxes here to complete his objective. Yeah, he would fire two rockets here, but um, usually the N64 doesn't like that, so the other rocket just glitches through the floor. Yeah, if you have too many explosions on the screen at the same time. Yeah, the break the stick time. time. So he's gonna try to do a train shot here. Got it. Ah, uh, he got it. Nope. Oh okay. uh, yeah, he got yeah. it. <laughs> That's quite an achievement with a uh, one 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 ten stick. That's good. That's really good. So now for the hardest level in the run probably. <laughs> it's very easy to die here, so he needs to take it slow in the first two cars. Yeah, this level is arguably harder than facility or to get the cheat for a new player. <laughs> so he wants to avoid getting hit here as much as possible because he's probably gonna run. He shot the box there so that these guards won't shoot it and uh, explode him. Black guards can spawn in random positions. See his feet, the other guy's feet there. <laughs> so he's just gonna clear out this this wa this wagon here. Kill that break. And then he's gonna make a run for it. Yolo time. Yolo time. It's swag strats. Don't try this at home. Laser is actually very, very powerful. It's actually the best weapon we have on this level. Uh, so in this game, it's a very annoying mechanic. When you when you get hit, you get um, staggered. You, you get stunned for like a little bit, so you can't do anything. There's a trick coming up where he would have to finish all those locks in a certain amount of time. So he did some locks early in order to make it easier for him to finish in time. Essentially the developers forgot that... Uh, they forgot to check if uh, Bond leaves the train during uh, the time right after kill or move. So if you were fast enough to leave, Natalia won't notice that you've left the train. And you can stand here by the end and just wait for her to finish her objectives. And then you can and the level and time it so that our object is complete during the fade out. Yeah. So this is this is uh, this is really good. It saves about 14 seconds, so it's a very significant spread. So now he just needs to wait for Natalia to complete the objectives. So usually you would stand with her in the train, guarding her from any guards that might come, but we don't need to do that. That also comes with an additional risk that she can die from the explosions at the end if you don't manage to kill Senior. Yeah, so shooting Xenia when he shot Urmov makes sure that you have a little bit more time to complete these objectives. And there it's completed. Right, that was good, that was really good. Next up, uh, jungle. The laggiest level in the game. The laggiest level in the game. Also, a level where you can get really trolled. Good start. He's gonna grab body armor there. He needs an ammo to kill Senior later as well. So that way he can, he's killing these guards. He 
lost a little bit of health, but he should still be okay, I think. If he doesn't get trolled too much here. He's gonna use a trick here where he stands behind a small object and the AI on the game can't find him here. So she's gonna, just gonna run towards him and he can just shoot her in the head. Yeah, it's a bit of line of sight abuse there. Essentially all small objects are... Uh, they're treated as full walls in this game. So that's why she can't see past it. But you can still shoot over it. Really good round so far. Now I just need to make it to the end. Grenade. Fire in the hole. Oh yeah. Ah, and you're gonna move the lift? Yeah, oh, nice. nice. Really good. Control. This is actually a really good run so far. Very, very good. It's actually surprising how good it's going. Kill the first drone. Kill the second drone here. There's another guard there, and then the last drone. And then it's gonna get Natalia. She doesn't respond unless you kill like all the enemies in the room. So this is one of the levels that had the biggest strat change this year. Uh, essentially completely changed uh, the way we do things. He's gonna use one new trick here. He's gonna look straight down and then slap a couple times to time. Uh, essentially to manipulate Natalia into speaking as quickly as possible and open the door for us. So six slaps and then he looks up and then she talks. Yeah. Usually you have to wait longer there. So this is a very risky area right here. The crate area. I got through all right. You got through good there. You can lose all your health there if you're unlucky. Also, they can throw grenades. They can throw a lot of grenades, yeah. It's also good you got through there with no, without losing any health. So now it's gonna get Natalia and pick up a body armor. You actually don't lose that much time going up, uh, grabbing the body armor, but uh, it's a couple of seconds. Yeah, because Natalia doesn't want to start completing the next objective if you're not there. using the new strat. <laughs> you can actually throw mines through the wall there. I didn't get it. You didn't get it? Oh, no. That's yeah. bad. He was trying to uh, glitch a mine through two walls in order to kill a mainframe that's in a drone drone gun protected room. But he didn't get it, so he'll have to do it later. He has an extra mine, so... So that was the new strat that we found this year, uh, which allows us to use a different ending route, because uh, the mainframe is already completed by the time that protection starts, so we don't have to do the main things at the end of the level. Don't forget those two main things, by the way. Yeah. One more, that, that one as well. Yeah. No. So guards come, come and try and kill either Natalia or you. So the guards with the hats, they're after you. And the guards without hats, they're after Natalia. So uh, you just prioritizes them when they come in. Natalia needs to stay alive during this run. We have a one dollar donation from Dub Game. She says, "ESA hype." So 
Thanks for your donation. Okay, that was... Sometimes there's a guard coming behind you there. That Ooh, was actually um, very scary. There you completed C. Now it just has to go to the end of the level. I'm not sure if I got A yet. Yes, you did. A already? Natalia. Did I get oh. A? I didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Maybe check just to be sure. Holy shit. It's kinda bad. Holy. Did she complete? Yes, yeah, she completed. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this is not a level we can be very troll and just like that. By running ahead of the turbo line here we can avoid opening all the doors. Yeah. Because he essentially closes them once he runs past them. So we need to stay ahead of him. These scientists, uh, you need to keep them alive for an objective. Yeah, this is another uh, scientist level that more than two die. You fail the uh, last objective. You have to redo the whole mission. So this level is probably the greatest advantage on Japanese cartridges because there's body armor in the beginning, which is very very helpful because this level is uh, it's very hard to do on NTSC. Didn't get the AR33. Pretty good so far. Just needs to wait for a few hostages, a few uh, scientists to leave. Okay, very good. Scientist died, I think, there, but uh, he didn't fail the objective. So it's looking to be a very good run. The next level is pretty straightforward, and after that, the hard one is uh, Aztec. <laughs> I get stuck on the guard. Well, yeah, plenty of health, thankfully. One, was it 252? I didn't see. That's, that's good. So he's gonna use a trick on this level to kill the rebellion. He's essentially gonna trick him into suiciding by throwing a grenade and blowing himself up. Yeah, the trap doesn't leave the room unless you enter the room, so he just stands there in his own grenade. He can see you through the wall or sends you through the wall. And he sometimes throws grenades which bounces off the wall. Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't take too long. Grenade. There he goes. Hopefully it red dies. Yeah. Yeah, there he is, he's dead. Holy shit. We'll make it out here now. Oh another nade. Ooh! It's close. Oh my <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was like, is th is that explosion gonna touch me? Holy shit. Alright, that was good. Try to use the pause trick. 
<coughs> yeah, the pause trick is when you pause right before the fade out. Yeah. And it can save a couple of frames, perhaps. We don't really know. So these guards are really trigger happy and they have very high accuracy. And they throw grenades. And they throw a lot of grenades. So there's a trick on this level where you can get, uh, you can lure guards to open the glass door for you, which normally requires you to kill Jaws and get his key card. But I don't think Ilu is going to go for this threat. He's going to go straight for Jaws instead. Maybe he is. Yeah. There's a lot of luck involved with making this threat work, so it's a bit risky. Doesn't have a grenade, so he can't blow up these drones. There's another body armor here, which you're gonna pick up. uses the PP7 there to avoid breaking the glass because all his other weapons they uh, shoot through the drone because there's two additional drone guns in this uh, in this room they warp up the stairs essentially they create a lot of lag while going up the ladder so you can get up and really quickly yeah now he's gonna kill Jaws He's also doing a trick here called the quick pause. Uh, essentially, every time you pause, you uh, speed up the next pause. So by quickly pausing and unpausing, you can speed up uh, later pauses, which he needs to do. Yeah. So now, when he kills Jaws, some laser guards are going to spawn either in a good place or in a bad place. We'll find out soon um, where they're going to spawn. If you're quick, you they spawn in the right place. So they should be here. I think they are here. Yeah, they okay, are here. Can hear them shooting. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Oh shit. Cost two. Oh man. There shouldn't be a problem. You know? No, it shouldn't be a problem. You just don't make it to the end. But that was, uh, whew, that was pretty close. So now he's going to upload the data. And head for the end of the level. Not a nice warp. It's actually a really good run so far. No deaths. No deaths. No fails. So up next is Egyptian. And then he's going to start on unlocking the cheats on uh, secret agent and agent difficulties. Yeah, Egyptian is a really trivial level. Well, if he's a bad stick, he might not be able to make the turns on the... <laughs> <laughs> in the golden gun room. Oh, that felt like it was close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they almost... Uh, Missed the body oh. armor. Oh, did you hit him? Yeah, first shot, wow. uh, first shot Baron. Some real pro strats. Another headshot. Our last Baron, he might get a headshot here as well, then he dies instantaneously. No. No. There he goes. Nice. That's a really good idea. Yeah.
Now it's time for the cheats. Aztec as secret agent first. This is essentially going to be the same as double agent. Yeah, he might use a, try and use the glass trick here just to show it off. Let's give some guards. That's a little swag. It's getting all the confidence. Yeah. Damn, he's stuck in the mainframe. So if you look away from a guard, he can like spawn in, in objects. Nah, he's not gonna go for the glass. He's gonna go with the same strat as he used for double agent. But he can be, uh, he's gonna be a little bit faster here since he has more health and the guards are not as accurate. Really smooth so far. Uh, it's going the other way. Oh shit. Yeah, if you stay close to yours, he can't hit you. There's two long arms. Yeah. What the fuck? It's gonna hold speed against him. A little tough, this uh, Aztec Secret Asian run. And good luck again, but it doesn't really matter on Aztec, I say. You had enough health. just to troll some guards. Writing his name in the wall. Oh, ammo, damn. My logo. <laughs> My logo, please. Run over. Holy sh <laughs> Oh, crap. Well, yeah, ill. You missed an L. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Illy. One more, more L. That was I, I love you. <laughs> Cradle agent. So Trav has slightly less HP on agents, so we don't actually need to do the nade straps. Or suicide straps for this one, but uh, it might be safer, I don't know. So you need to shoot him twice in the back there, and now you should need to shoot him twice in the head. You reload the weapons yeah, to he synchronize both guns. Yeah. Very good cradle, very good cradle. That's the type of cradle you want to have. Next up, control SA, probably. So he doesn't need to show the time on those levels because he already knows he unlocked the cheat. This is essentially going to be the same as double agent. Yeah, only it's a bit less risky to die. 
that's pretty good, pretty good beginning. Oh, that's not so good though. Okay, yeah, he made it. So you can actually stand in a certain spot and it makes Natalia take a little bit of a shorter line, which saves a few tens or something. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it's most likely going to lose time actually. Yeah, you need to have tasks to save any time on that. It's a task only trick, but Illu managed to pull it off. Yeah, he's Illu. <laughs> save, save the frames. Very clean, great area. I think you have more mines on SA as well. Yeah, no, it's two extra mines compared to double O. God's actually blocking Natalia there. So now he's gonna try the mine clip again. Maybe. Yeah, he got it this time. Wow. Yeah, he got it. And the second mine clip is really easy to do. Yeah, he just glitches the mine through the floor there, or the ceiling, whatever you want to call it. Not above the door. Yeah, I will remind you of that trouble clap when it comes to that. The damn alarms. Same deal as double O. Don't like the guys without hats get on Natalia, otherwise they might kill her. No, it's the other way around. Did you say with without hats? Yeah, oh, yeah. But the Ildis wearing a headset so he can easily hear if the glass uh, breaks on either side. So they can break at the same time, which is really annoying. This is really good if it doesn't break because then he knows that they aren't there. Because once they are broken, you can't hear it. Uh, guard comes there. Yeah. But I think he's gonna clutch this, no problems. He can do an easier ending now too, because he uh, managed the mind throws. So yeah. He can finish a bit to see and run straight to the ending here. Which actually gives more consistent Natalia escapes as well. So you can see objective C completing here. Yeah, so he's completed. Those Natalia guards just come pouring in. Alright, now, now he runs up and opens the door for her. Now wait just a little bit more until she actually leaves and goes up the stairs and then he goes to the end. Alright, good. Through the door here. Somebody I'm here is going to pick up. He doesn't really need it, but might as well. It should take around 17 seconds for Natalia to escape her. There she escaped. Good. Very good. Streets Agent. Yeah. This is a really straightforward level. This is also the level uh, Ryan Lockwood got 112 on. With the, the clutch run. And same pace. And same pace. Yeah. <laughs> But Illu will probably only get 115, 116. Are you really reliant on boosts here? Yeah. You need to kill a grenade launcher uh, guard and boost yourself with the grenade launcher a few times if you want to get 112, like Lockwood. And two other players who have that time. You can still buy on this though. He gets two rockets in the face, but it's very unlikely. Now that you kill the guard, he can use the rocket to boost himself as well. Yeah, he's gonna do it later. <laughs> I 
It's double rockets. And the goose ending to uh, lose point three. <laughs> <laughs> Depot SA is, is almost the same as Depot Double O, except you don't have to do the ammo dump. In the regular idle run, you would use the two Pentex control studs here in order to alert the guards early and uh, destroy the screen during the intro cinema. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was good enough. Trick train shot again. Now another wide turn train shot. Did you get it? I don't, I don't know. No. No, you didn't get it. Not this time. So this is probably going to be the last run Illu ever does with this control stick. <coughs> Jungle agents. This uh, level can be pretty troll. Yeah. At least it shouldn't die on it, hopefully. That card usually dies in one slap. But uh, I think Ildo's in the zone now, he's not gonna give this up. We got the troll. Amazing. Oh man, that was too close. Almost the dream hack, uh, the dream choke there. Still needs to clash the ending. I'm not sure how many bars I have. Three, three, I think. I think. Nope. One and a half. Okay. Yeah, it should be. It should be fine. Holy shit! Half a bar. You shouldn't survive one on a hit. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> that was a bit too close. Funny how double O can go so smooth and then you get. <laughs> it was bound to happen on one level at least. Holy shit. Because that just shouldn't be really straightforward. It's the same as double O agents. Oh. Yeah. Another fast strafe. Nice boost ratio. <coughs> so let's hope we can get another good flight recorder here. So everyone affect the FR from your computers.
flight recorder. Come on. Nope, nope. Oh, we actually the worst spot. The worst spot for the flight recorder. That Thank you very much, people at home, for not that's affecting that far. That's actually the spot that has the least yeah. probability of occurring. Yeah. So you're very unlucky to get that one. Bank one, bank two agents. Switch the double gloves to walk the door. All right, this is pretty much the same as surface uh, one double agent. It's a lot of straight thing. I'm looking at the ground. Believe it or not, I have died on this level. You have died on this level, okay. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Thing was, I was getting boosted a lot, and I actually shot myself at the end with the. Uh, Grenade launcher. When I warped up, the ex there, was, there was like a really, really light explosion left up on uh -huh. top, and that just took off the like the last bar. <laughs> that was ridiculous. God, please control stick. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I have gonna, to break the stick now. He's gonna snap it off soon. This is break the stick strats now. Break the stick turns. So after this is Frigate, SA, Silo Agent. Come on, boost, boost, boost. Damn SA, Runway Agent. I can feel my muscles working when I turn. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, this stick is not made for a normal person. You really need to uh, work out to use this control stick. Alright, oh, that's good. Good, good grenade. And he warps that ladder by causing a lot of lag and switching weapons. Only agents. The easiest level in the game, probably. Well, Walter died on this run, on this level, doing a 100% run. Oh! It's really hard to do this level with a bad stick. You really need good turns. Yeah. Now he's gonna boost himself with grenades. Did he kill the guards in the hut? Not Getting taking out. any risks. Going to the far right uh, is uh, secure. So in Frigate Secret Agent you only need to release four hostages to complete it. So he shoots in the beginning to alert some guards away from this hostage here. Save the bridge hostage, maybe. At the engine. The engine hostage, no. Another pipe warp, nice. Uh oh. It blew up a console there. 
Which probably killed the hostage. He has an extra hostage release though. Yeah, but it might, what if he not, does, doesn't escape in time? Looks so risky <laughs> when he does it like that. <laughs> Alright, now just A needs to come up now. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. Now two levels left. It's gonna end with them because there's a long animation at the end where Bond does a bungee jump and we don't want that uh, jump to count to the final time. Yeah, so the run ends when you lose control of Bond. Pretty okay beginning. That uh, crate guard in the first hall can draw, pull a grenade and kill a lot of scientists. Which can make you fail the mission. This is this is probably my, my favorite level to speedrun. It's very high paced, fast. We even got an open door pace. It's actually a really sick run so far. Warping the guards with a weapon switch. Another door warp and make it cast a off so you don't get stuck on him. He can be a real troll sometimes. Now, last level. First alarm, Illu. Don't forget it. Yeah. First alarm, First height. Alarm. Yeah. So he needs to kill four alarms. But he's probably gonna clutch it. Good first alarm. Now lock shot. Good. Okay, second alarm as well. Two alarms left and then the uh, run is over. I get ready with time. It's coming up really shortly. Oh, oh, that, oh okay, yeah. So as soon as he walks off here, it's gonna be time. Just say when. Time. time. <laughs> really good run, man. What was the time? 108.07. That's really good. 108? Yeah. 108.07. Yes. Sub 10, 110 is what I wanted, so... That's really good, man. It's 108, even low 108, so... The Swedes, man, setting new standards for GoldenEye speedrunning at a marathon. <laughs> Any closing words? Uh, Shoutouts to the elites. Um, Mumble Crew, R White Goose, all the streamers, Golden, G Golden Jimbo, 007, uh, Trouble Clef, and all the other cool people who make this possible. Uh, Thanks to the ASA and, and the Ludendi community as well for uh, setting up this whole event. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. It was amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good run. Very good run. That was GoldenEye 07 with Illudit. You are watching European Speed Assembly Assembly uh, 2014, the Yellow Stream. Up next is Hanky with Deus Ex Human Revolution Invisible War. Wait, Deus Ex Invisible War and then Human Revolution. But first we're going to restart the stream real quick in order to fix the quality encoding.